Hello everyone, today I'm in Kutnohora. Now this is a very special town to me because this is my wife's hometown. This is only a 45 minute train ride from Prague, so this could be the perfect day trip for you. Today we'll be checking out some interesting cathedrals, nature walks, and of course good food and coffee. So, let's begin. So like clockwork, we always start the day with a good coffee, especially as we're going for a morning nature walk. This place is where creativity and coffee come together. Not only they serve great coffee, but if you're feeling artistic, you can always make your own unique coffee cup, which could be a great memory when visiting Kutnohura. It's great to see something a little bit different in a small town. So after that energy boost, we headed towards the valley, which on the way will give you a great view of St. Barbara's Cathedral. A walk through this beautiful valley is a must when visiting Kutnohura. It's really not just all trees, leaves and nature. Every 15 minutes you're seeing or exploring something unique to this town, like this rock carving of a famous Czech writer. So after trying to take a photo on the train tracks, which was a bad idea, and nearly getting hit by a train, we made our way towards the pond. And as you walk further into the valley, you will walk over a bridge, and then through a cool dark tunnel. Then you'll see some old ruins. And finally, after walking through a field, you end up at the pond. So during the summer, you can swim here, and in the winter, you can ice skate. So definitely keep that in mind if you come check out this pond. So after relaxing, we headed back into town, but we did come across a creepy dark cave, and we thought it's time for another bad ghost hunt. Once again, nothing happened, although it did get drastically cold inside the cave at one point and I got pretty scared, but I'm still not convinced. Hopefully though, one day we'll get to see an actual ghost. So this walk would take about two hours. Personally, I like coming here in the autumn when the leaves are just starting to change and it's not so busy with tourists. With so many things to see in this trail, I highly recommend you check it out for yourself. For more information, just check the link I have provided down below. So after all that nature walking, it's time to grab a bite to eat. Okay, today we're going to go to our local favourite place, Vervlu Hatse, where all the local Kutnohuris go to. From classic Czech meals to fresh beer on tap, this is my favourite place to eat when we visit Kutnohura. The menu itself even provides a tale of how this restaurant got its name. This story has it all, power, greed, money and a daughter with an ill fate, so definitely have a read of it when you are here. Now we've been here before, and last time we had hungry eyes. The duck and little buns with cream sauce were one of my favorites, and luckily they let you do takeaway. What's in the bag? Leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> This time we didn't make the same mistake. For entree we ordered tavarushki with house-made pickles, sour cream and fried bread. Tavarushki is the famous strong smelling Czech cheese and served like a tartar. This is one of my favorite dishes of this cheese. 
For mains, we ordered rabbit leg with fried gnocchi and creamy mustard sauce. Also, the classic duck leg, with dumplings, braised red cabbage, and gravy. Both meals being hearty and rich full of flavor, by the end of it, we were definitely in a food coma. So after lunch, we had to walk around. So we headed to the art gallery. Although Kutnohura is famous for its beautiful historical buildings, I think the art gallery is just as amazing and still worth the visit. Now we have been here before and seen the exhibitions, but the first floor and part of the second floor is free. Now I'm not the most artistic person, I do however appreciate bright colours, as my attention span is like a goldfish, and they also have a really nice cafe. Now when you step outside, you can see even more interesting pieces of artwork. Like this car bird, or bird car, it really depends on how you look at it, either way it's really cool. Now you can't come to Kutnohura without visiting St. Barbara Cathedral. This UNESCO listed church with its unique 310 roof took over 500 years to make, beginning in 1388 and finally finishing in 1905. The sheer size of this church and its interior artwork is simply amazing. It's quite interesting that the original plan of this church was meant to be twice the size it is today. No matter how, where, and what time of the year you look at this church, from all angles, this is just a beautiful piece of history which you need to see for yourself. Now after exploring, we need some sweets, and what better way to get a sugar high than checking out Kutnohura's local chocolate museum. Opened in 2016, this museum is dedicated to show the world that Kutnohura once had one of the world's best chocolate called Litka. Litka was founded in 1918 and won gold twice at a few international competitions and unfortunately the factory was nationalized and closed down in 1958. But in 2018 they started to make Litka chocolate again and in fact six months later they won a bronze medal at the Academy of Chocolate in London. So Kutnohura has some serious game when it comes to the art of making chocolate. Now I learnt all this by the amazing staff who are so passionate about all things chocolate. You can sample great chocolates from around the world. So, 50% milk chocolate from Belize and cocoa beans mm -hmm. and sheep milk. Just let it melt in your mouth. Shiny. <laughs> so and smooth. It literally just melts in your mouth. Good. And buy some interesting things to try, like beer chocolate. or their famous hot chocolate. And my wife thought it would be great for me to try one of the hottest chilies in chocolate form. Alright, Trinidad Scorpion Chili Pepper Chocolate in Kutnohura. One of the spiciest chilies in the world. I don't smell it. Do it, do it! Holy shit! <coughs> That is so spicy. No. <laughs> All right, I'm going for round two. What do you feel? It just burns your tongue, like straight away. It's not a slow burn. You know, like some chilies or curry you eat, it just slowly creeps up on you. This is just straight away, just a punch in the face straight away. No bullshitting, just straight out spiciness. Whew. It's like you have so much ants in under your tongue. Thanks for watching. Definitely check out Kudnohura. It's a great day trip from Prague. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.